guys, Whipchip here with a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your LEGO Ninjago Season 16 minifigures. Now, I'm not talking about the characters or outfits not seen in the sets, like, say, Depressed Jay or Sally, but instead doing things like adding the correct helmet or even adding a little paint. This video is split off into three sections, Noob, Easy, Expert, and Extreme, depending on the difficulty of changing them. But before that, let's go through all of the minifigures that don't need fixing. First of all is the ninja suits of the main four, including their runaway suits, golden armor suits, and then their dragon forms. Except for this runaway Zane, but more on that in a minute. Then there's Pythor, who is perfect, Vangelis, who I personally don't have a problem with, and then the mechanic. To start, just take Lloyd's runaway outfit from the Crystal King set and change the armor from gold to silver. Yup, that's the kind of stuff we're doing at this level. Then there is Nia, who doesn't have anything inherently wrong with her, but I would ditch the helmet and swords and give her her hair and that instead. Then there is Mr. F. For him, I just switched his helmet from this nasty thing to this Garmadon helmet in black. Following, I would switch out majority of the weapons in the Vengestone army to spears, as that was really the only thing they used in the show. Now, it might look like a lot, especially if you have every set like me, but every set that comes with one of these spears also comes with an extra, so it's pretty easy to fill out your army. Okay, first is Nelson. Just take off the katanas and add mid-legs and dark blue. Next is Asphira. So I saw this online somewhere, but I don't remember where. Just take Legacy Pythor's tail and add it to this Asphira. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it's something different. Next is Lloyd in his golden armor. Take off the Oni mask, more on that later, and give him either his hair or Cole's mask. Then give him black hands to match the show. Following is Skylar. She uses a combination of her hunted design and her hands of time design, completely ignoring her new outfit in the sets. But I wanted to keep my hunted Skylar intact, so I just took the legs off the other and gave it to this one. Here is Harumi, basically a perfect figure, but the sword was just a little bit off, so I painted it and puttied it to perfection. Then there is Zane, who I made accurate to his appearance in the Benefit of Grief, spray painting his hair to match. Finally, there is Wu, missing some pretty important things. First is the Dragon Blade he uses to fight the Overlord. You could also give him the broom, I guess? Uh, maybe not. Then his hat needs to be changed from this gold one to a tan one. But be warned, if you add the wings on the back, there is too much tan. So either use the wings with the gold hat or without for a more accurate tan one. Well, we've reached the last stage first with Garmadon. This minifigure you can get in Nia Samurai x Met can be split off into two, just like Oni Lloyd. The torso and legs can be used for this version of Garmadon we get to spend most our time with. Then with the mask, of course, changing the nasty helmet for this more show accurate biker one, as well as swapping out the horns for white ones. Then take a movie Garmadon's torso and legacy combo and give them both purple hands. Give him some wings and voila! A much improved Oni Garmadon. Next is the Crystal King. The main problem was definitely the mask, seen as the one in the set looked a lot more like, say, a mask. So I painted the eyes a solid pink, then painted over them and added the teeth. To match the color of the eyes, I also painted the details on the torso. Then lastly, I just swapped these black hands out for a more accurate gray one. What was it you said to me the last time we fought? In fact, it does end now, with Oni Lloyd. Gosh, where do I even start? I guess first change the horns from gold to tan, next sand down, paint, and print the upper arms. Now, personally, I didn't want to use my official torso and legs for Oni Lloyd, so I just printed the torso and stuck it onto a different gold Lloyd. I think it turned out extremely good. Well, here is the whole collection. Thank you guys so much for sticking around this whole way. Comment if you guys have any suggestions on any other customs to make. Well, thanks for watching. Bye!